Good morning. Welcome to the FTS Bet Slip on Saturday, the 14th of November. Um, today is the first day since it all began that I really, really detest the situation we're in. Um, this lockdown uh, COVID because we should all be, or not all of us, but those who come along should be at Lingfield for our fourth year on the spin for the FTS racing day at Lingers. It would have been today. Scott Harvey would have been drinking his tenants right now last night's beer. He'd have just got up and been tucking into that. Shaz would have been, Shaz would be on the floor somewhere after a few gins last night, asleep in the corner, dribbling. Um, Suggsy, if he came, would be boring somebody in the corner. Um, who else would it be? Art, Art would have been searching for some sort of medicine there. Me and Jeff Butler, we'd have been discussing the intricacies of dishwasher packing. Um, Phil Klinger would be there. God, it would be good, wouldn't it? Well, look, I am I am missing it. Dave Bell would be running late. Oh, Dave, I think he works on a different time zone, Dave. I, I joined him in the Telegram group 11 days later. Oh, I haven't joined, I haven't had the Telegram invite. Yes, Dave, you had it 11 days ago. Lingfield, always late, always a text on the morning. Ian, running late, starters going cold. Um, yeah, we'd be there, team. We'd be there in our little uh, hospitality box on the finish line, enjoying ourselves. Um, I thought of that this morning. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. But hopefully next year we'll, um, we'll get there. Um... Yesterday was a bad day. Yesterday, I I said about doing this racing. Yesterday, uh, they lost, or I lost. Not I lost, it's not my money. But on behalf of them, I lost nearly £30,000. They had one placed horse that uh, I bet. Obviously, it's not uh, it's not my mate's money. It's other people's money. They had a massive bet on the favourite, Laura Bullion at Dundalk, got beat. Uh, they had a big bet on Tiger Row. I think they thought, each way they couldn't see it out the first three and that obviously finished nowhere um i was sweating my blood pressure went up sam took me blood pressure she was worried about me uh just trying to get it all on it's um absolute murder you ask for 300 they knock you back to 200 you just keep going knock out betting accounts quicker than uh, eating a pack of biscuits um i'll be glad when it's all over but um, back in again this morning. So if my phone goes, I have to, might have to stop and just keep putting some bets on. I've done a few this morning, but uh, I thought I'd grab this window. But that is a bad day, team. That's what it's like, you see. Now, when we think we have bad days, I could not do that for a living. I promise you, I could not bet horses for that sort of money like that, day in, day out. I know when they have a good day, it's a good day. But the ups and downs of it, the... Um, you know, I found myself watching. I say to you, lot, don't watch the football matches. I found myself watching the horses like yesterday just to see how it's going because you got all this money out. But more, I'm just trying to stay on. Just trying to stay on top of the figures is hard work. I mean, my mate, he goes around with a bit of paper. He he is useless. This is a true story. He's absolutely useless. He, he goes around with a bit of A3 paper, keeping hold of all this. Never can make Edna tale of it. It's like hieroglyphics. But his TV went Thursday. He sent me his picture of his TV. The picture all went. Um, funny on Thursday uh, so he sends me a picture of it how's my luck I normally do all his tech stuff for him because he's useless I mean he had a in his old house they used to work a lot of the opening shows so we, we set an office up me and his dad six little TVs on the wall so we could have the um, like the CFAX on with the opening shows as they came up so one for each meeting so he had six screens so the prices were there two computer screens, this, that, and the other, set the printer up. And he, um, about two weeks later, he rang me up and he, I was driving somewhere. He said, um, you've set this printer all up wrong. I said, what do you mean I've set this? He said, I'm trying to print, it won't print. I said, well, it was all fine when I left. Yeah, no, it's not working. I really need to get it working. Can you come round? So I now had to make a 45 minute detour to go to his house to, um, have a look at this printer. I get up in his office. It was in like the top floor of his house. Get in his printer. There's no paper in it. That's all. He just hadn't filled it with paper. He's absolutely useless. So Thursday night, his TV goes. He sends a picture. He said, how's my luck? Just sat down and watched the golf TV and the picture's gone. So he's ordered another one. And uh, his wife's texting me last night. How do you set this TV up? Because Brett hasn't got a clue. 
I said, oh, they're good, those UHD TVs. He's got a Samsung Crystal UHD. I said, they're good, them. He goes, it's UHD. What's UHD? Absolutely useless. And he's running around dealing in multi-million pounds a year horses. I do not know how he functions. Massive lad. I mean, it's a heart attack waiting to happen. It is a heart attack waiting to happen. I was so... I've never been so stressed yesterday. Anyway, let's move on. What we got? Um... I did tell you, didn't I? I told you. I'm, I'm always pleased. You know, I said about being right. I am with certain things. You like being right. I said. This, I don't think the Shambo will ever win a Masters. I think the price for the Shambo. I said it in my preview. I think it was absolute nonsense compared to what it is. Augusta is not about how far you can hit the ball. Um, ridiculous price. He was far too short. I think he's going to end up being one of the most overhyped sports people. I'm sick of hearing about him. Um, you know, everything is how far he hits it. Even when another player's hitting it, they're going, oh, DeChambeau was 30 yards past that. It is so much more than that golf. It, it's almost like we've got this driving range mentality when all the kids are there trying to hit it as far as they can. They're turning TV golf into that. It's boring the hell out of me. Um, but uh, I said he was too short. But um, I think I found one even worse. I, I see yesterday... England on Betfair, a favourite for the Euros at 6.6. I mean, are we having an absolute giraffe? It's absolute mental. So I had a quick look at the game. See, Belgium 2.44 tomorrow is way too big. Way too big. England favourites, what is going on? Honestly, just shows you how, you know, people say the markets are never wrong. How can England be favourites for the Euros? Do me a favour, honestly. Can you imagine flipping Mbappe up against fucking Harry Maguire? Centre-backs are garbage. The keeper ain't good enough. The midfield, we haven't got a settled midfield that you'd choose from. Yes, we've got the likes of Grealish, etc. But do me a favour. Honestly, England, 6.6 for the Euros. There, you've got two in a week. DeChambeau for the Masters and England for the Euros. Two ridiculous prices. Um... What else? I'm actually going to advertising. I was making, you're going to like, you probably won't like this. You probably think there's something wrong with me. I am um, making my beloved, her granola. She makes granola, Sam. So she makes her own granola when we did keto. Matt Stevens will testify. It's very nice. She makes her own granola. So this morning I'm down in my office. She, I hear her moving about. So I go up and say, would you like a cup of tea, darling? Yes, please. She said, can I have some granola? So I get the old granola out making it. As I'm making it, I start singing to myself. Granola gay, you'd be feeling better today. What am I doing? See, I could, I, could, I could be an advert. All of a sudden, now I've got her, you can make it, I could package it, call it Granola Gay, got the theme tune, job done. I'm losing it, not I? I am losing it. See, Trump lost uh, 20 lawsuits now, isn't it? 1-1, one, 1-1, one. One, one, which was basically saying you can stand six feet away, and has lost the other 20. How has he got a cult-like following? He is absolute. This is a major grift, what's going on at the minute, because this is all about his brand and getting people to give him money. And if you read the small print, 40% of it goes off to pay his campaign. It's not for lawsuits. He's absolutely grifting the American people, and people fall for it. The guy is an absolute schmuck. He really is. One and twenty, and he won't. He won't. All the while, he keeps it going. You see, he gets more money, so that's why he won't concede. It's um, it's one of the biggest grifts in American history, and people all fall into it. I just don't get the cult-like following. Guys, an ass. Um, right, let's give you some horses. We have got, as somebody put in the Telegram group when I posted them, a cotchel and a half, and we have. We've got three meetings today. Um. We had a couple of winners yesterday, didn't really go anywhere. A couple of winners on the uh, pod horses. Right, but Cheltenham, 1230 Duffel Coat, 105 La Manva Pippin, 325 Captain Tomcat, 355 L S Bell, and 355 Yukonava. Uh, so two in the 355. Utoxeter, 1152 Lucky One. 1222 Paddy's Motorbike, 1257 Sahaley, 132 Across the Line, 242 Legends Gold, 317 Dark Side of Tarnside, 350 Solwara 1, Solwara 1, Weatherby, 1238 Sir Valentine, 223 Mackenberg, also 223 Hooligan, 258 half a piece 
So a right old cocktail of horses to get into for the pod horses. Let's hope they go well. Um, I think, what, four out of the five dobbed yesterday. So, you know, whatever way you want to use them. Win, place, trade at the minute. They're all doing it okay. Um, and Foosbell, I've got one for you. I've got one little Foosy Bell game for you, um, which is, is, where is it? Um... Uh, Bristol Rovers, a late first half goal at Bristol Rovers, 3 o'clock. Bristol Rovers versus Fleetwood, if nil-nil, sort of 25 minutes onwards, uh, drip lay a first half goal. And if uh, Northampton versus Accrington, actually you can have this one as well, Northampton versus Accrington, if that is nil-nil, late into the second half, sort of 70, 75 minutes onwards, Northampton, Accrington, then drip lay the draw or drip lay a goal. Only if it's nil-nil, though, Northampton, Accrington, if it's nil-nil late on. Um, That's it. Have a lovely Saturday. Um, Those of you who used to come to Lingfield, uh, apologies, miss you. We'll um, we'll we'll get it organised as soon as. It's always a good crack. Um, But it's probably saved a few hangovers when you look at what, what that trip's produced over the last few years. Sugsy bore an Ed U into an ambulance that uh, he couldn't cope with and Andy Mitchell falling on the floor. I thought he died. Another ambulance. Um, absolute shambles. Absolute, absolute shambles, a lot of you. Um, but um, no, good fun. Shame it's, shame it's not on. We'll uh, hopefully get there next year. Uh, right, have a good... Um, Saturday, sorry for waffling on, oh, covered many topics there, granola game, I, I just think it's great, I think I'm, I am, that's it, it's a new calling, um, right, I'm going to crack on with putting these flipping horses on, honestly, I've never been other people's money and I've never been so stressed, and I'll um, speak to you all um, tomorrow. <laughs>